Yep, there it is, the snow. We had to break out that snowy picture for our welcome back because, you know, Ron's been talking a lot about it, and that's why we're not letting him play today. He's 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 in timeout. He's not playing, yeah. what's it worth? Don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's an all-female lineup today for what's it worth. It's our weekly antique appraisal game, and this is where we ask antique expert Dr. Lori the value of five items chosen from our photos sent in the PTL mailbox. Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi, I'm laughing at the Ron thing. It's like, we don't like snow. Ron can't play. <laughs> Not it's too sleep. bad. It's little girl. Well, you know what? A couple years ago, we had snow in Maine. I keep thinking about that. Like, please just don't let that be this year. Please. <laughs> no, well, no. We need no. more spring like yeah. weather. Hey, our oh, first right. item sent in is a gavel by Haley. Yeah, so this is a gavel. I mean, you've probably seen these all over the place. This one happens to be birch wood. Um, it's in very good condition. I don't think it is particularly unusual or rare. I think it's pretty traditional in terms of gavels and would be used in courtrooms uh, uh, by judges mostly. Um, I did not have from Haley any background about it. Sometimes folks in the email will tell me a little bit of background about um, the actual piece, uh, but this one is in good condition and it looks to be made of birch. Hmm. So what, like, did you mention what time period this could be from? Is this I something? I didn't because she didn't. Oh. I didn't. I would say it's definitely 20th century. You know, it's not a 19th century gavel. I would probably, just looking at the object, put it sometime between 1925 and 1960. Um, these can hang around for, for decades and decades. Uh, I wish she had said, oh, it was from this particular courthouse or this particular thing, but you know, she didn't, so that's all right. I'm happy to appraise it based on the photo only. Okay. I do that all the time. I've always wanted my own gavel. So uh, I can get ordered. I just saw your, I just Did saw you your price. It? Wait, I gotta, I gotta, no. <laughs> you can, you can. I just saw yours. Price. I don't want to put the same price. Fun fact, I have a gavel. Okay. Okay, here we go. You ready? $45. Who has a gavel? $75. I do have a gavel. I'm I'm the president of our local sag -Aftra, And you have your own gavel? And I have my own gavel. It was handed down I to me from the, the former president. It's amazing. I thought it was for the three kids. It was, <laughs> I should pull it out for that, too. Yes. Okay, $75 so. is what the gavel is worth. <laughs> That's what I have written down, too, and I changed it. Okay. Well, you could just Good put job, one Mikey. point for me up on your tally there. I keep tally. <laughs> okay. All right, so next we have a cookie jar set from Teresa. Yeah, this is a nice one. This is a winking owl cookie jar set, and it has salt and pepper shakers with it as well. It's made in the 1930s, 1940s. It's hand-painted ceramic, so it's molded ceramic. And then they make a good number of them. In the bottom, it's marked USA, which usually indicates that it is from a manufacturer. Many of those USA manufacturers are out of Zanesville, Ohio. Okay, Zanesville, cookie Ohio. jar. Are there any cookies in that jar, Dr. Lori? Because that could affect so. the value. <laughs> there are not a lot of cookies in the cookie jars at my house. I go through a lot of Fig Newtons. Okay. <laughs> I like cookies. Fig Newtons. It's Oreos oh. in our house. Yeah. Okay, you ready? I'm oh. ready. Yeah. I said 85. I said 80. 250 for the set. Wow. wow. That's amazing. Yeah. I'll take the point even yeah, though I'm you not get it. close. All right, we're going to take a quick break <laughs> and we'll be back with more items for Dr. Lori to appraise. She selected photos sent in by the ladies today. So if you sent one in, yours could be next. We'll be right back.